Hello YouTube, right now I'm going to be talking about is an application from the App Store, it's called iSwifter. Now iSwifter basically uh, allows you to play Flash content on your iPad 2. I do have the iPad 2 uh, as, far, as far as iPad 1, I'm not sure if it actually works. If you guys have the iPad 1 and download it, it works, just leave a comment on the bottom for the rest of you guys who have uh, iPad 1 first generation. Now uh, first I would like to take you to the Safari. Like down in the bottom. I don't know if you can even see it. Well, anyways, I'm gonna take you to Safari, and I'm gonna take you to my channel. Now, in my channel, uh, basically, when you ever go on a computer, you'll notice that the video will automatically pop up, start playing whatever channel, uh, whatever video I picked to to show on my channel. Now, uh, through Safari, you won't be able to view the channels at all. Like the videos at all, as you can see. And if you go to your home page, you'll just get like download latest flash content, which you can't because it's not compatible. And um, now, if we go to the application itself, the iSwifter, let me just close this out and go to iSwifter, you will get uh, kind of like a little browser thingy here. Uh, you can't actually use it. Well, some of you can, like if you guys are only surfing. Um, you can use it as an alternative browser, but I don't like it because one, it does not support tabs. Two, you can't even set up your home page, um, which is like a big constant having this and going like, I don't like it. Like for Safari, I have a uh, certain page is set up as my home page and that's where it takes me and that's where it's where I normally go. And, uh, but feel free to use it as an alternative browser. It does give you the option to bookmark certain pages. Now let me just go to YouTube so I could show you how the actual flash contact is going to work. Now, let me just do a search for my channel. Now, like, let's just go directly to my channel. As you can see right there, the video is loading up. It starts playing automatically. Let me just pause this. Um, it actually uh, loads it up, plays a video. It actually works for several other, for basically any website that has flash content. Uh, I do use it to th watch movies at the movie 2 2K.to. Uh, flash works. Now, you get this application for free in the App Store. The only problem is that if you use it as a free uh, app, you only get to watch about five minutes of flash content before you start getting those annoying pop-ups uh, that keep saying uh, upgrade to full version for unlimited experience or whatever, $4.99, which is basically what it's going to cost you. You can't buy it off the App Store for $4.99. You have to buy, get the free version and then upgrade within the app. And uh, it actually does work. I actually like it uh, to pay flash content because... The iPad 2 is like a oh, great device, but the fact that it's missing flash really annoys a lot of people. And uh majority of, of the people actually only use YouTube and stuff like that, but um, I like having flash on my devices. Now, I did compare it to the Dell Streak uh, 5, and loading and everything, is, it's the same. Um, as far as uh, compatibility wise with loading and playing and playbacks and stuff so that's basically it for it uh, like I said uh, you can bookmark pages you can go wherever you want um, the only thing that I don't like is that once you exit the application it does not support multitasking like right now I went to Safari and now I want to go back and it's going to have to load up back to the original page and yada yada. So that's basically one, something the developer must actually fix. Maybe try putting some tabs on it or something. And uh, access to uh, default settings at home page. That's it. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Y'all have a good day.